All right, good morning. Here we are, back in the old town of Kingston upon Hull. So we're up on this roof this morning. We're going to get it stripped off, uh, get all the old felt off, and then get new membrane on, new rock clats. This is our driest day, so we've got to move like shit today. So straight off, get it felted, and some lats back on at least. Um, we've got loads of material to bring up from downstairs, which we're hoping to bring up from here. So we're going to pull it up, and then once we've got this roof off, we're going to pass all the insulation into the roof space, which you'll have seen by now. Um, we're going to try and get as much as we can up here, so even if that means getting the plasterboard up as well, because the stairs are so narrow for that. Don't know if we're going to do it. So what we're going to do is start taking these tiles off. And um, we'll see you in a bit. These should just pull off actually, it should be quite simple. Yeah, so every now and then one will be nailed, so you just got to be careful of that. But, uh, yeah, I'll see if I can set you up somewhere, do a bit of time lapse. Right, to show you where we're up to now. So, one sheet of uh, felt and the second felt's just there. Uh, we will be taking that off because we'll be looking at this cheek here. But the thing is, we don't need to got this. The felt is sound enough, it's dirty, yeah, but it's just, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's all this end. All right, look at all the lodges, what's been in here. So we're gonna get it refelted. We'll measure this gauge cause, so it suits these tiles. We'll be putting felt supports along there. Yeah, we're getting rid of all that. <coughs> that we Do you want to talk about that, Tom? Yeah. This was a balcony. Very dangerous. Not safe. Not fit for purpose. We're getting rid of it. The roof line's going to continue through. Straight from there to there. We're going to put a timber across there. These are, these are proper, proper solid. So we can brace it underneath. Uh, we'll use... We'll probably use... Um, Flash band, you know, yeah. the, the lead, the lead, the lead one. So it'll stick to that. We'll try and get it under that one there. Under that bead. And then and then it's got something to track off and run away. Yeah. These are coming off. We're going to insulate the cheeks. And yeah. Probably, probably make them deeper. So that means the lid will have to come off. It'll be a wider lid. It doesn't have to come off, it just has to, the felt has to come off and we have to We need to retrim it, don't we? Give we'll it a extend proper. the lid. And, so and we'll reset, reset the cheeks. Yeah, so the water can run off. But yeah, looking at that, there's no vapour barrier in there, is there? No. It doesn't look like there's probably any insulation in there, to be frank. Um, well, you can see by the thickness of the Yeah, you can see, I mean... Timber's there, timber, and it's there. Yeah, there's nothing the in there, there at all, so is there? I've only there. got plasterboard there. So, um, yeah, so... It'll look much, 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 much different. And it'll be fiberglassed. Yeah. GRP. Yeah, 25 years. Just on that, on the sides, on the face there. I know there's a lot of people who like original felt and all this sort of stuff, but yeah, but you can't you can't get up here to service if this. If you look how far. Yeah, we I are, mean, we're not doing this off a ladder. No. <laughs> no way. No. So once and this is done, cost thousands for a scaffolding to get this yeah. guy. So I'm not going to come back up here in 12 years to yeah. re refelt that. And we've got to do it on the other side too. And we've got to do it on the other side too, and it's worse than this. Yeah. It's in the worst condition. It's narrower. There's bits yeah. of building <laughs> There's underneath. other roof, isn't there, and all sorts. These There's old the buildings, building next door. They're overlapping each other. Yeah. I mean, we, we've got this building. Well, next door's actually jigsaws in certain floors past ours. Yeah. Ours goes up top. Theirs comes below it. And then yeah. ours again underneath, which is... It's, yeah, it's like a f uh, flying freehold, isn't it? It's inherited, yeah. It's a yeah. flying freehold. It's inherited <coughs> with... The, problems of the building and the age of the building yeah because you're talking probably started this in 16 summer yeah yeah and it's been Late. built built on added on and added yeah. on because Stuart's yard used to have buildings down there and then this is Stuart's it's had yard. an outer skin built on this at some point as well and, you, and if you see the brickwork you've got yeah. man-made bricks here yeah handmade bricks there and then you... so yeah so we'll get some felt off now we'll get the rest of them tiles off but if I start taking this side off we can start getting stuff in 
into the roof space with a bit of luck at a back wind. So now we've got the um, access. You can see there is a flat there. So in right in there is where I was doing the door opening. So I wonder where this toilet waste went to. So heads that direction somewhere. But looking at this, all this rubbish, looking in this corner here, look at that, that's absolutely sodden. So there needs to be some remedial work done there. But uh, what we'll do is carry on getting the rest of this felt off, get these lats off, then all the insulations could slide in. We've got the lad just to put some loft insulation in here just to stop the heat from downstairs escaping. <coughs> um, but when we do all the enclosures in there, that's going to have extra king span in as well, uh, king span walls. All that stuff, what you do in a loft. Uh, yeah, let's crack on and do a bit more. I'll check in in a bit. How many subscribers Not enough. Subscribe if you want. Uh, what was I saying? Right, so we've got this off door, off now. The lads are getting the last few tiles off. Good lads they are. We've got another new boy here, Bailey. Apprentice joint, right, matey? Yeah. Yeah, he's at college. He's hoping to get to college, but. Uh, he's, he's the gobby one anyway so this is where the skylight's going here so I'm not quite sure how high it's going to go yet but at least I've took the tiles out of the way Tom needs to have a look at that uh, we're going to get the king span up and we need to get it inside the building which is down there you can see it there and all the rest of it over there so we need to get that up and get it brought into here perhaps we'll best clear a bit of space because there's tools everywhere as well Right, see you on the other side. Right on, next stage then. So we've got a space here. The only space we can get the king spanning through. And then what we're doing is whittling it round there, standing it up there. We've actually put a piece in the, up above in the ceiling there. Can't see from now. There, that's just sat there, out the way. So it's getting pulled up on the rope. One sheet at a time. One sheet at a time and then uh, coming up. Right on, so it's all stripped back. Oh, lovely jubbly. So what Tom's going to have to do, we're going to extend these legs um, and put a bit of a kick on it because it's not going to work with the felt support trays and keeping a decent fall. So he's going to be working out that next. So we just took off any loose bricks. Probably some more are going to have to come off. This old 150 pipes, uh, drainage is going to come off now, this guttering. We've got all the insulation up, and that is in here. Let's go in here. Oh, there we go, look. That's all in there. All 25 mil there, so 100 mil in the walls, 25 mil to bridge it. That'll give us a vapor barrier as well, but I think we're probably going to put a vapor barrier in as well. Um, skylight openings there. So we're going to work out where that's got to go. So we've got to get the extensions on uh, for the rafters. We've got to get the skylight set in place, get the flash kit set up and get the felt on. Uh, so we're back water tight. The time now is 12 o'clock as it happens, as bell chimes. Uh, um, yeah, right, we'll see you in a bit. We should know really, but this job never fails to surprise us. Now the building is very old, 1700s it was built, but work like this has been done a lot later. And this crappy cladding was just nailed straight onto that ply. No membrane or anything between there and the loft space. In fact, you can look there, you can see the ply. In fact, it looks like that, um, might we use shop fitters. Uh, that's there. Uh, that's, that's no good whatsoever. So all that's going to come off. Yeah, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Right, getting a lot of the timber up. We're extending these legs. Uh, rock lats up. Just putting them on top of here for now. But we've got to do as much as we can. We'll probably end up going to end up tarping this uh, tonight. I don't know if we'll get the paper on. But, um, we'll do our best. Uh, and just, well, we'll see where we end up. Right on, we made it through the night. So we're just folding this back now. I'm gonna start getting these legs made to go on here. Um, and we've got to get the felt on today. We've had to wait a while because it's been raining. 
but we're gonna get there. Well, uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. Right, replacing this tray for a GRP one. This is the old lead, so we're taking all the tiles off all the way up here, getting rid of all this gob. All this, look how bad it is, the moss. And then just looking at this ridge here, look at that banana. Oh, uh, but it's probably just age, isn't it? We're not going to start jacking the building up. A bit misty today, got me two boys. Hiya! <laughs> twiddle dumb and twiddle dumber. Oh wow, right, so I've just got myself to the top. Just got a bit more to knock out there. What I've been doing is numbering all the cuts left and right. So once we've got the GRP train, we could put them all back. But I've come over here because we've got this valley to do as well when we get the scaffold into the side. But look at this. So there's a tile gone there. All the mortar, that is absolutely gone. That is absolutely, and that's been, well, it's freshly tiled that, but well, before my mate took it over. Them ridges don't look fantastic. You see they've got bits of tiling, which you'd expect for that much mortar. Uh, it's not in as good a shape as the old roof, which says something about the person who did it. Well, yeah, this is how high we are around here. Quick panoramic roof, so there's the Premier Inn. Uh, there, Premier Inn, Kingston upon Hull. There's some private flats. Private flats. There's Arco's HQ, so all you'll get your safety kit in the entire country. From there, multi story car park. That's what they call Fruit Market. Uh, all the way around here, Holy Trinity. And uh, the Land of Green Ginger down there. And then some etching. Yeah. It's looking good. Alright, I will over voice this. So what we're going to do is just quickly run the baton out. You can see here, all the legs have been extended because it weren't going to reach. There's a curve in the wall. So basically what we're doing, we're going to straighten the curve, get all these the same length, run a line across. And then we'll, we just want to get this on. And then we're going to get some felt on just to dry it off, keep it a bit drier tonight. But it just shows the way that curves. Some needed notches out, some didn't. But I just got Tyler here, just breaking off all the crappy mortar, exposing the top course of this bricks here, so then I can start to infill and fill it in. Now it's going to be behind your face, so you're not going to bother it. So we've got some of these uh, commons which we had when we took that wall out downstairs. So I'm just going to do something like that and bring it up. It's not going to be much higher than that then, and we'll still win our felt support trays in still have airflow. So I'm going to crack on with that. The young man's going to crack on with that. Easy. Sorry? On these two, it's like a brick and a half. Yeah, that's 
so you don't see any of this because it's behind um, Once you've done that, will you do me another bucket of gobble? Yeah. Please. Using my pointy troll because I'm using your brick troll. It's a small space. This isn't going to be very practical. Use, I'll use a different bucket. Yeah, yeah, cheers. Not too, not too wet, so if you just add a bit of water at a time, you'll be alright. And then... So you remember sand up to our shown you? Yeah, and about two or three. Yeah, so you're doing it about five to one, so... If you try and calculate how much sand you put in, and then just... Five what? And an handful of sand, five and of sand. Well, if you do that, if you do five of them, yeah. then put one of them in with cement. Sand. So yeah. I've got a full bucket, yeah? Yeah. owns this building it's quite an expensive building and the amount of spending on it simple things like this is going to save a few bob now i know how much you spent on this building so far because it was in such bad way the former keeper just wasn't interested in uh, looking after it really let me just chop that back a bit Just simple things like this, you know, water runoff, get, you've got to get your water away from the building and that's going to solve half your problems, any structure. When you've got to look at a new house, look for telltale signs of water running down, look for green, look for moss. Alright, you might be able to negotiate on your price, because most of the time, it can be remedied with just simple repair work. 
Now, same token, if it's just left, it's like if it's not maintained, the amount of gutters on here when we go to the other side has got plant life going out of it. Yeah, that's not going to do the building any good whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Two quarters going to go in there. Yes, it is. Oh, I stopped doing the valley by the way because Tom hasn't got back with the rest of them yet. I don't want to start putting bits of tile on, bits of sl um, oh, what the hell? Them square pieces of rosemary tiles what I've cut up. I don't want to start putting them on if I've got to then go up it again. There we go then, so just a quick bit of beam filling. Let's say it doesn't have to be anything fantastic. But, uh, yeah, that's going to steady them timbers now. So it's got all the rest to do along there. I mean, the building goes in and out like an in and outy thing. This is the straightest part. Anyway, check back in a bit when I've got some more gobble. Here we go, got so many in. So they're on edge there because we couldn't get a brick to sit in there without chopping the back off, but it's, it's no great shakes. And then we've got one flat here. So we'll probably end up putting some more on top of there. But yeah, that'll do for now. Tom can still cut the, um, the rafters off. That's good enough. Right, I'm waiting for some more gobbo and bricks. Right on, all the bed combs are on. That's done there. Cut them to like individual tiles because there's no way you could bend that around there. Look, God's on here. There's the felt supports. Gut rings on, water runs away. That's all tested. So anyway, I'm going to get some of these off now. And then um, sort this corner out, see if we can get rid of that tarp. Yeah, job's a good one. Eh? Yeah. Hey? What you say, sugar ball? Nothing, mate. Good old teapot. <laughs> <laughs>